Hey everybody, it's Nathan Seelove with another edition of Autism Actually Speaking. Today's topic is a rather fun topic that I think a lot of my fellow autistics can relate to. Hey, my neurotypical brothers, sisters, and non-binary siblings. Stop apologizing to me for my autism. So a lot of autistics, especially including myself, often run into situations in which we tell a neurotypical that we're on the autism spectrum and their immediate reaction is, Oh my God, I'm so sorry. In fact, I actually have a Service Dog Tales video in which I talk about a time that that actually happened. So today I want to talk about why this is silly, why it's problematic and you shouldn't do it, and what you should say when someone tells you they're autistic. First off, it's not your fault. We don't blame you. We blame matter with all of its protons and neutrons and electrons. I'm not one of the sciencey autistics. Also, autism brought us Thomas Edison, Albert Einstein, and Socrates. Neurotypicality brought us Justin Bieber, the Twilight series, and my middle school principal. That's what you should be apologizing for. So now let's talk about the second reason why it's problematic to apologize to someone when they tell you they're autistic. Disability is heavily stigmatized by our society. And no matter how many people advocate for the use of person-first language, it is impossible to separate the person from the disability. Disability is a part of who a person is. So when you tell someone who told you that they have a disability that you're really sorry that they have to go through that, you're basically telling them that you're sorry for them being who they are. This capitulates to the concepts that being a disabled person is an inherently bad negative thing. I understand that when people do apologize, they mean it with the best of intentions. They're trying to show sympathy or empathy or whatnot. But don't pity me for being who I am. I like who I am. And research does show that when as a society we view disability as more of a social identity rather than something that happens to a person and needs to be pitied, we're more likely societally to fight for disability rights legislation, expanding disability accommodation, expanding disability civil rights. So there are practical reasons to follow a more social model approach to disability. So finally, what do you say or do if an autistic tells you that they are an autistic. The nice thing about autistics is that most of us are not very easily offended. I mean, even the entire subject of this video is not something that I'm offended by. It's something that I think is silly and that I recognize the ways in which it feeds into a narrative. But for the most part, you don't need to walk on eggshells. Just be like, oh, cool. Autism is not something to be ashamed of. It's not something to pity and it's not something to apologize for. Well, that's today's video. Thank you all for watching. If you liked this episode, please give it a like, a share, and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Check out some of my other stuff. And if you want to support the channel in other ways, support me on Patreon. In the meantime, if you have any questions or topics you'd like addressed, please leave them in the comments below or message me on my Facebook, also linked below. And remember, if you had to re-record your outro 10 times because you changed one tiny part of it and it messed up your whole system, you might be autistic. <laughs>